you know, in my mind, what distinguishes NAL from other conferences is the depth and breadth of discussion around affordable housing and CRA issues. I think the other thing that differentiates NAL's conference as well is the focus on innovation and sharing of best practices in the industry. Attending a NAL conference is one of the rare times that you can get the FDIC chairman to sit through the whole program rather than make a speech and leave. I would say what makes the NAL conference difference is that it's, it's short, it's um, uh, concentrated dialogue that you can get concrete ideas that you can take back and put to work. I would say come with your running shoes on, roll up your sleeves and get, get after it. Well, first of all, I think the sessions are enormously helpful. I think that you get to hear from various practitioners and people that are bringing all sorts of different perspectives and abilities to help us solve uh, some very important uh, problems. But I also think that a great part of the conference is just meeting people in the hallway. I've met some, some people that I now consider friends, but I've met other people in the industry, and it's amazing how often I meet somebody and they say, oh wait, you should meet so-and-so and bring somebody else in, and it has really been a great, great connection for me. You know, the Knoll Conference is one of those places that the movers and shakers in the community development field are here. You get to hear from them firsthand, you get to meet with them, talk to them in breaks, you get to share cards and get to know, with, know them. The networking here is unparalleled um, in this industry. People who came up to me afterwards said, oh, the panels were great. The, uh, the, they couldn't believe all the, the regulators and government officials that came to, to speak to Nal. So it's, it speaks to uh, the, the high regard in which Nal is held. The value is coming here to exchange with each other and to be able to gain access to the, uh, the highest levels of, um, of power within the government. We've got an outstanding lineup, really. I couldn't be more pleased. We have another panel discussion on small multifamily finance. And we're particularly focused here on liquidity for lenders that are making small balance loans for affordable multifamily housing. Uh, November 2013, we issued an initial notice. A lot of you, I think NAL uh, too, and then individual members commented. We received a lot of feedback on it. And I think what we heard is that we got it mainly right, but not all right. And that we needed to go back to the drawing board and and do some more thinking. And so we did that, it took us a little while, and in July of this year, we published and put out our Small Buildings Risk Share Initiative. We look forward to reviewing with interest um, Nell's ideas on how further clarification by financial regulators on recent CRA guidance might expand bank financing of affordable rental housing and increase economic opportunity low-income people and communities. NAL provides us with access. There are very few conferences or interactions that you will have with the principal of the Office of the Currency, the FDIC, or the Federal Reserve. Why NAL? Um, it's a national alliance of leading private capital providers for affordable housing and community revitalization. NAL connects and it brings the banks and the mission nonprofits together, and we really do, I don't know how many other places this happens, but we really do come to common ground.